Hello everybody out there and welcome back here with the future once again to another retro showcase and review. And if everybody knows right now, the retro showcase and reviews that I do are mint on card or loose showcase and reviews of retro action figures from back when I was a kid. I'd say all the way up to the year 2000 I would consider retro at this point. I mean 19 years old going on 20 years old if it's 2000. So I would have to say that'd be in the retro showcase and review range for me. Um, other any figures older than that are just going to be normal, you know, showcase and reviews um, if I get anything. But um, this line here, I love to do the 80s, 90s lines that um, came out exactly, you know, when I was a kid. You know, I was born in 82, so I was 10 by 92. Um, so when this came out here, I'd have been 7 years old because it came out in 1989, this action figure line did. And it is none other than the Playmates Barnyard Commandos toy line. And the Barnyard Commandos were very interesting because all they were um, were um, small, plastic, rubbery type, like squishy animals, um, sheep and rams, two different um, sectors of groups that you could play from, um, battling against each other, just like you have, you know, your Cobra and your G.I. Joe. Um, but you had the Porks and the Rams. Um, the platoon of rebel killer swine against the rebel army of militant sheep. Um, so somebody, in my opinion, found something similar to something like this. Like a squishy, you know, rubbery plastic um, animal. Like, you know, barnyard animal, like in a playset. And somebody from that, you know, corporation from Playmates, you know, something they produced. He saw this and like, let's put a, like, mean scowl on him um, and throw some, like, you know, rockets and stuff on his back and make him very cool. Maybe the kids will really dig this. This was around the time, you know, that Ninja Turtles were big. Um, of course, Ninja Turtles launched in 88, so a year after the Ninja Turtles line. So the Barnyard Commandos line were always really cool to me, too. It came out around the same time as, like, Food Fighters. If you have the Food Fighters, too, um, they were the same way, like a plastic, um, squishy, you know, rubbery type um, texture to them instead of, like, a hard um, plastic you know, design. But the Barnyard Commando is an action figure line created by toy designer James Groman for American Greetings Corporation and produced by Playmates Toys in 89. And there was also a 13-episode French-American animated series that was based on the figures the following year. Um, actually, you know, Fred Wolf um, has to do with the um, series. Um, he was actually the executive producer and it was under the Fred Wolf Films banner. And, of course, Fred Wolf had to do with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles series, too. So it's kind of cool that, you know, Fred Wolf teamed up with the Turtles and the Playmates figures. And then they, Playmates made figures. That's another Fred Wolf effort and the Barnyard Commandos. There was actually, like, a four-tape set um, launched to this. Actually, there was two series of figures produced. And they made quite a few of the uh, Porks and the Rams. Um, so you had quite a few characters that you could choose from in a line like this. Um, I don't think it gets enough love because, you know, um, this was back when, you know, the anthropomorphic um, animals and stuff were really popular. So um, this one was, you know, based around the concept of farm animals who consumed radioactive materials left over from an abandoned military exper experiment, excuse me, and it mutated them into hyper-intelligent anthropomorphic paramilitary troops um, that consisted of the rams and the pork. So now, um, without further ado... Let's check out the 1989 Mint on Card Playmates Barnyard Commandos Commodore Fleece Cardigan figure. Let's check it out. Okay, so here we have the Mint on Card Commodore Fleece Cardigan Barnyard Commandos action figure. And like I said, these were non posable uh, made of soft, hollow plastic, much like, you know, squeaky dog toys or rubber like dog toys they were in that same consistency much like this you know hollow plastic um sheep that i just showed off earlier and obviously somebody from you know playmate saw something like this and thought you know it'd be a good idea you know to throw some you know guns and stuff on these guys and market them you know towards you know young boys and stuff and uh they think you know barnyard commandos would be a great selling toy line um actually two series of these were produced um, like I said, each of them, you know, packed an accessory in here and uh, that fastened on to the figure and, you know, a brief 
humorous character description on the card back. And also, around this time, uh, Burger King produced a series of tie-in toys as Kids Mills Premiums um, that you could obtain as well. Um, so, yeah, I've always loved these figures. And to compare it right now, you know, in 1989, a year after the Turtles, obviously, um, here's a 1990 Turtles card back. And you can see Playmates here, the same company that, you know, produced the Barnyard Commandos line as well, produced the Turtles. And a year after this was released, here's a card back from the Turtles. So they did such a great job on their card backs. Could you imagine going into the store and seeing these hanging next to each other and having to make the decision, do I want Turtles, do I want Barnyard Commandos? I don't know, because the year after, um, they made Series 2. Um, but this is a Series 1 figure, and I had quite a few of the Series 1 figures. I don't think I ever got into the Series 2. Um, but I remember my grandma picking like these up for me initially, kind of like the Food Fighters line. And this should have been in my um, you know, favorite action figure lines as a kid. Um, after I did that video, I thought I missed some, and Barnyard Commandos definitely deserve to be in that. I think I have to make a part two of that video, definitely. And look at the depictions up here, the illustrations of the rams and the porks up here doing battle. Gotta love that card work, that card back artwork. Uh, Barnyard Commandos, these guys are animals. I love the slogan. And, of course, you know, much like the turtles, how they had it exploding, you know, out of the brick wall there, you can see it kind of like exploding in the back of the Barnyard Commandos card back as well. So much in the same vein. And it says, secret code book included. Wob allow in mob up pa bigs. So they have like a secret code um, talk. Uh, Commodore fleece cardigan. Weapon swamp fighter. And you can see there he is from the rebel army of militant sheep. The rams and that's their insignia. And you can see he's branded there with like a bullet on the side there. Gotta love the Rams logo on the back there. Um, with this Swamp Fighter gear there that they call it. And you can see it just snapped on to the back of the Ram or the pork. And you can see him head on here. I love the depictions of these guys. You can see they gave him like mean scowls. Kind of like mohawk flat top type haircuts. Of course, I need a member of the porks, but... This was not easy to find. I got them pretty cheap. And you can see the card back or the bubble on here. The blister packaging, the bubble here, is kind of messed up. Um, but nonetheless, I had to have a depiction of a mint on card barnyard, barnyard commando in the collection. Just much like I'm going to try to find a food fighter. Um, but yeah, I love the card back here. Ages four and up. Um... But I love the card art on here. Of course, uh, Playmates down to the right. And I love, like, the green spots on, you know, like, the, they gave military-type colors even for their fur and everything because they were mutated. Remember, they were mutated, so. Um, but, yeah, no articulation. Just, just like a, that's why I have this guy out, just like a hollow plastic rubber-like squeezy toy, basically, is what these guys were. Um, but nonetheless, very cool to play around with as a kid. So now let's go to the back of the card here. And this is very, very cool. Barnyard Commando. These guys are animals. Barnyard Commandos, excuse me. Hey, you, ham bones. Guess who just dropped in? Slam, you decide. So that is Commodore Fleece Cardigan there. I'm pretty sure busting in the joint there. And you can see Commodore there, too. It says, uh, let's read this. On a farm deep in the heartland of America, an abandoned military experiment has unexpected consequences. Common farm animals have turned into danger radioactive grain. So the grain got radioactive. And it says, what's the... And they got turned into, obviously, barnyard commandos. And it says, who will be victorious? Will they be victorious? You decide. But then you go on down here and it says, what's the battle plan? Why? It's in the two secret codes that these critters are, it's in the two, it's in two secret codes these critters don't even understand. So, took me a few to read that. But Bob, Rake, Dob, Own, the Dob, Or, what did he say? Break now for dinner. So I guess that's what he said was break now for dinner. A daring raid on Pork's headquarters. 
charge. Obviously, that means charge. And it shows the Rams getting ready to bust into the Porks headquarters there. And there's the Porks insignia there. So I'm guessing the Porks card backs had a different type of illustration on the back um, with them attacking the uh, Rams. Because this is a Rams figure. He had an illustration of them attacking the Porks. And like I said, I don't know exactly which one that is. That one right there actually looks more like uh, uh, Commodore Fleece Cardigan. So down here it says the name is Cardigan Fleece and the rank is Commodore. And then it has Military Specialty Swamp Fighter. And once again, his little Wabalow in Mabub, Mabud Pabigs. And his species is the Ovis Aquistania. I guess that's his species of sheep. His breed is Mutter. And it says, Commodore Cardigan is a real do-it-by-the-book officer. Tough, stubborn, and savvy. He hates to quit firing. Cardigan is often seen screaming through the swamps in his jet-powered aeroboat, terrifying the ducks and tadpoles. He frequently ends up calling for aid when he gets stuck in the muck. But although his fleece may get wet... His ardor is never dampened. So pretty cool little ride up there on the Commodore Fleece Cardigan. As you can see there, his full name. And it says, learn BAA code, see secret code book inside. Of course, over there to the right, you can see Barnyard Commandos 1989. And has like actually the names of each character, all trademarks of Playmates toys. Um, so pretty damn cool there, but you see up here depictions of the other figures from the set that we're going to end it off here with has the Rams and it says, obviously collect them all the great slogan from the eighties that never died off major Lager mutton Commodore fleece cardigan, which I have Sergeant Wooly pullover and pilot puff fluff Pendleton. Sorry. Um, Sergeant Wooly Pullover was one of my favorites from the first wave because he stood up like that instead of, you know, on all fours. So I thought he was very cool. He'd be the other one that I'd want to get from, um, the Rams division there. And then in the Porks division here, you have Private Side of Bacon, Captain Tusker Chitlins, General Ham Fat Lardo, and Sergeant Shoat and Sweet, Shoat and Sweet. Excuse me. It's the first time like reading some of this, so I'm messing up, but he is a stand-up. So they had one guy that stood up on each side, and the rest were on all fours. Um, but I do remember having this guy because he had that apparatus on the face, and I remember I just loved that look. I remember I had that guy, and I'm pretty sure I had him. Man, I can't remember exactly which ones I had. I'm pretty sure I had the Ram. Um straight up ram with the horns there um but sweet gotta love it you even had just like you know the pizza points um that they had on the turtles there save one pizza point you had horn points for the rams save one horn point pretty sweet ages four and up of course 1989 like i said and you can see in the back there i don't know if i really pointed this out but there is his secret code book that is included that we can't take a look at because it is you know on the card um, and I'm not going to bust it open this is a mint on card review but you see it has the barnyard commandos logo there I seen they did make like other merchandise if I believe they had like uh, uh, coloring books and stuff like that for barnyard commandos as well and like I said that four um, episodes were released on VHS only four episodes of the animated series released on VHS um, but yeah, they ended up making a second series too, but yeah, um, not much more to say about the old Barnyard Commandos, but that this was a fun look at a great toy line um, from when I was only seven years old back in 1989. And yeah, guys, if you liked what you saw, make sure you hit that subscribe button, drop a comment down below on what you think of the Barnyard Commandos, give me a like, um, and make sure you hit that subscribe button if it's your first time watching, if you're a past um subscriber and a repeat viewer i really appreciate all the support and all the feedback here on my channel uh, make sure you hit that notifications bell and keep up with all my new videos 
And yeah, guys, until next time, as always, I hope you enjoyed this retro showcase and review look at the Barnyard Commandos Commodore Fleece Cardigan action figure from 1989. And until next time, guys, as always, peace out and keep collecting.